double busy, do 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 getting busy, do 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 do. Yo yo yo, what's up, what's up? It's me, it's me, the double busy. All hail, Filker, Eric Bjornsson. That's right. We're reforming the faith today. Let's go! Oh man, look at this guy from Dublin. 2,500 troops. Siege it down. This is what I'm talking about. Now here comes another 2,000 troops from the Isles. The Isles in Dublin. Here they come. Get pwned. Ah, oh, they're running away. Where are you going? No! Oh! They're going off to fight another war. I must return home for a short time to resupply. While I resupply, my allies battle and wage war against the Byzantine Empire in the Battle of Antwerpen. From all my evenings watching stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. My Rixgothi does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be, the celestial realm is for the others to know. Should I find my answers in the heavens? Or should I... Tell him he is right, and focus on earthly matters. Given that we are war, I believe the gods would want me to focus on earthly matters. Jarl Freyr Jomtland is sure to win the war for us. Jarl Bjorn's son is a great commander. At last, at 54 years old, we have conquered the holy site at Zealand, thanks to my allies, Jarl Marcus and Jarl Freyr. My wife Hala passed away recently, and though I am very saddened, I do need to find someone to help me manage the realm. I believe I have found the perfect woman, she does not expect any children, and her name is Titi. After we captured Zealand, there was some kind of rebellion or peasant uprising. We captured Duchess Fortlina, the county of Aachen and Maastricht, Duchess Elena, the Duchy of Augsburg, and Count Hartwig, Count of Nuremberg. I guess we're good at capturing people during sieges. Okay, this lady will ransom for 100 gold. This lady will ransom for 19? I don't know about that. And you'll ransom for 35? Sure. But you? You're being sacrificed to Odin. I am very focused on my learning, and Queen Hala is helping me. So I don't have time to manage the new county that we conquered. Therefore, I shall grant it to my son and let him handle the Finally, my studies have led me to a breakthrough in reforming the Asatru faith. Our first tenet of ancestor worship has worked for many hundreds of years, but worshiping our ancestors along with the gods in Valhalla is not enough. The followers of Asatru have great fervor and will not be converted easily. This we already know. So we shall start giving our ancestors Viking funeral, a proper ceremony to honor them and worship them. In this way, all Asatruans will extend their life, both in Midgard and in Valhalla. While I have carried out many executions throughout my life, and the gods have sanctioned all of them, and that has brought me to this point of being able to reform the faith, we must change our ways if we are to move forward in the world, to become strong as one people. By adopting legalism, we will be able to strengthen our position and rulers will be seen as rulers, not simply a placeholder or someone to overcome. Furthermore, it is time that we make our laws more equal for the women in our lives. They help us, they bear our children, and many of them are just as strong fighters with just as much prowess as the men. As the mastermind of this faith, I shall be considered the head of faith, and therefore we will have a lay clergy tradition. Rulers may continue to have concubines beside their wife, but it will continue to be criminal for either one to commit adultery. Finally, if we are to believe that our ancestors are set free into the world through the Viking funeral, and that a ruler 
has divine right, and we should also accept magic and witchcraft, for that is the study of all those things. Let these new tenets and doctrines pass out from Sweden through the realm to all other Norse realms, and become the word of Odin, Thor, the Allfather, and all of the gods. Ooh, interesting. So now we have old Asatru and just Asatru, a new one. All right, well, that's one of the three main pillars to going feudal, reforming the faith. We actually control four out of our five holy sites, and we might even go for the fifth one pretty soon. Now, remember, one of the other ones is development level. We are up to development eight in our capital. Let's go look and see in our decisions. Adopting feudal ways. And we have to have absolute tribal authority. So we're getting kind of close to that, but we would need a lot more prestige to make that decision. Now, because we have reformed the faith, the development level only has to be five. So we can change what jobs and missions we're doing there. And then having all tribal era innovations. That's going to be the long term one because we haven't even gotten the first one here. So that's going to take a long time to do. And I'm sure there's going to be some unrest and holy wars because of our reformed faith. Come along next time as we get our development level up and as we start trying to figure out how to make all of our culture innovations go faster. Double busy, do do do, getting busy, do 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 do.